Hello to you, and welcome to Minis for Pennies, the show that turns trinkets into terrors for your dungeons. I'm your host, Poor Andy, the Dungeon Miser, and today I'm going to be extra, extra, extra cheap and show you how I make monsters from the bits I have left over from making other monsters. If you're a regular viewer, you know that I harvest a good deal of parts off of dinosaurs and dragons. They are a great source of reptilian tails. Uh, that I also use for tentacles and wings for monsters. After I do all the hacking and chopping, I'm usually left with slightly mutilated pile of leftovers. So today I'm going to show you two examples of monsters that I have made out of the choppy pile. For the first project, I'm going to make one of my favorite player killers, the Basilisk. Just a big old nasty lizard that turns players into statues and then chows down. Perfect for caves, jungles, and old ruins. I found plenty of Basilisk minis in the 4, 6, and 8-legged varieties, but I couldn't find any good prices for them, so let's use our leftovers instead and save a bundle. So here is a little green Triceratops I harvested a tail from for a monster project. To make my Basilisk, I'm going to take another Triceratops, this one fully intact, and then I'm going to trim off the back horns from the head, leaving the nose horn on. Then I need to snip some extra legs off of the green dino and set them aside. And then to make room for the new legs, I scraped away some of the belly on the red dino. The rough texture also helps hold the glue in place. For the glue, I applied a generous glob of E6000, and this will hold the new leg on tight without any pinning and the extra glue will fill in the gaps on the body and it will make it easy to adjust the legs until they sit just right. When that glue sets, uh, base, mod podge, prime, and paint and here is the finished basilisk ready to petrify some PCs. Since I had two sets of legs on the leftover dinosaur and since they go together so fast and so easy, I made another basilisk from another Triceratops. These are some large basilisks with six legs, but if you say you like an even bigger basilisk with eight legs, then I say use bigger dinosaurs and add more legs. Price for these is eight pennies for the dinosaurs, a penny for the base, and a penny for the art supplies, so ten pennies each or ten for a dollar. So now on to project number two. If you like to play in swamps, jungles, deserts, etc., you're bound to run into lizard men and troglodytes and the like. They are perfect humanoid enemies for these remote and dangerous wildlands, but building up a good gang of them for your collection can get spendy. If you wanted 10 or 12 lizard folk for a challenging warband, you're looking at spending between 30 and $60 if you're buying commercial miniatures. And that is way too much. So let me show you the miser way. Here's one of my poor mutilated party favor dragons. You may recognize him from the cockatrice episode when he donated his tail and wings to the chicken. I like to use these Godzilla pose dragons for parts donations because as you can see it is already standing upright like a people and that makes it easy to turn him into a lizard man. After cleaning away the last remnants of wings and tail from the body, I went to start turning him into a warrior. I dug through my grandma box of buttons and found a good one to use as a shield. Just a little super glue is all it takes to hold it in place. And next he needs a weapon, so I snipped out a tooth from a dollar store comb and glued it to the other claws for a long dagger. When the weapons are set, just glue them on a base, mod podge prime and paint, and here is the lizard man warrior. As you can see, these go together really fast and they are simple to customize. You can repose the arms and give them different weapons just as quickly. Mine doesn't have a tail, 
because of the surgery and it doesn't bother me a bit but if you like tails you can just harvest the wings from your dragons and leave the tails on if you prefer to have them. You can also swap the heads with dinosaur heads if you want a beefier lizard look. These cost 20 pennies for the dragon, a penny for the base, and a penny for art supplies, so 22 pennies each or about five for a dollar, meaning you could easily get your war band of lizard men for about two to three bucks instead of 30 bucks. So there you go, two more classic monsters for far less than commercial prices, made from scraps, no less. Don't forget to smack that like and subscribe button to get more ways to save a bundle on miniatures. And if you like to support my work, you can buy me a cup of coffee in the link in the description and become a Dungeon Miser's Apprentice like these good people. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time for more minis for pennies.